Hey, what's up going on, everybody? It's going to work me back if you guys are following along. Uh, so, in today's video, I'm going to be replacing the front fender tip. Um, <laughs> kind of just fell off when I was riding. In the beginning of the ride, it was there, but once I got to my to my destination, it's not realized that um, this is missing. <laughs> So, um, so I'm going to be installing that, and I'm also going to be installing a fender rail that goes on here. Uh, I'm going to try it out, see what happens, and um, see how it goes. Alright, so um, this is what I'm going to be installing. This is the piece, the fender tip that went off on the right, that went missing. The tip right there. I'm also going to be installing this uh, rail. And um, basically, this rail I bought off of um, Harley's website, Harley Utah. And this is fender is supposedly for heritage here's the instructions but um i'm not a heritage so you know i want to make some minor adjustments on the fender see what happens and um see how it goes all right so um i'll begin with removing the fender and by that you got two little um allen bolts on either side of the front fork and a little nut on the inside all right, so what I've done now is that with the bolts that came with the fender, I put it in here. I kind of sort of aligned it so I could get an idea of, you know, how far up or down I want to go. And I'm not sure if this is, like, perfectly um, level, like, the fender-wise. But I'm going to eyeball it, you know, to see where, you know, más o menos where I want to hide at. And while doing so, I'm going to mark it where to, um, I guess, drill. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird and, you know, might not be as, you know, kind of weird to do with your with your fender. But um, talk about the looks, right? <laughs> All right. So there it is installed. Um, unfortunately, I didn't record how I adjusted everything, how I drilled it. But um, I, I am going to talk about it. So, since the kit came with uh, the hardware, like the Allen bolts and all that, I went ahead and replaced them. And you can see if it needs to uh, accommodate for the extra, uh, the extra space right here, and not like that, it gets it really good. And um, for the up here, the drilling spot, I added a couple washers just to accommodate because for the space. There's a gap between the fender itself and the bracket. And so I added spacers there like um, washers to space it out so that the lock nut would be able to reach it. Um, so I did that. And also when installing it and adjusting you know, the height, as I was mentioning, I forgot to mention that, make sure you uh, measure correctly so that the little bracket here won't be rubbing up against your uh, wheel. So, um, that's how it is. Um, hopefully my, my fender tip won't go missing anytime soon. Um, also if you guys, um, know of any part number that will fit the stock deluxe, um, fender that doesn't say Harley Davidson under, let me know. Um, no, as much as I love Harley, I don't really like how, you know, Harley puts her name on almost every part. Um, it's just my opinion, but um, if you guys know of any part number that has it that's smooth, please let me know. But um, that will conclude the install of the video for today. Um, I'll be posting more videos soon. The rail for the rear. I might be posting one for the rear sometime. Um, if I if I do get that order now that i will be making a install video so it could go with the front fender rail but um that'll be it for today guys thank you for watching and um see you on the next one